Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 6 to the power x plus 9 to the power x plus 12 to the power x divided by 2 to the x plus 3 to the x plus 4 to the x equals 1 ninth. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods. And the first method basically depends on substitution. So let's start. So for our first method, we're going to do the following. Noticing that we have 2 to the x and 3 to the x. And if you look at all these bases, like 12 and 6 and 9, we can basically write them uh, using 2 and 3 as prime factors. So let's go ahead and do the following. Set 2 to the x equals a and 3 to the x equals b. And then from here, we're going to do the following. 6 to the x is going to be 2 to the x times 3 to the x, which is a, b. 9 to the x is just 3 to the x squared, which is b squared. And 12 to the x, 12 can be written as 4 times 3 to the x. And 4 is basically 2 squared. And then this becomes 2 to the 2x times 3 to the x. And 2 to the power 2x can be written as 2 to the power x squared times 3 to the x. Make sense? And since we call 2 to the x a, this will be a squared times b. Awesome. So we got a name for everything. Let's go ahead and replace them and then we'll see what we get from there. Okay, so we're going to replace 6 to the x with a, b. And then we have 9 to the x, which is b squared. And then we have 12 to the x, which is a squared b. And that is going to be divided by a plus b plus a squared. Because 4 to the x is, oh, I forgot to write it, never mind. 4 to the x is, I think we already talked about it here, right? But anyways, 4 to the x is 2 to the x squared, and that is a squared. We could probably just use it right here. So now this is equal to 1 over 9. Now without assuming any other things, I'm just going to go ahead and cross multiply because that's the very brute force way of doing things. So I'm going to get 9ab plus 9b squared plus 9a squared b equals a plus b plus a squared. And then... Now, this doesn't look very nice because nothing cancels out, nothing can be combined, but I'm going to put everything on the same side in order to get a zero on the right-hand side. Make sense? So I'm going to subtract like this, 9ab minus a plus 9b squared minus b plus 9a squared b minus a squared. So kind of like pairing these up with each one of these. And when I do that, actually, this is going to be factorable. There's probably another way to factor it too, but I'm just, you know, doing pairs. So the first pair gives me a as a common factor, so that is 9b minus 1, and then we can take out a b, 9b minus 1, quite a good 9, 9b minus 1, plus a squared times 9b minus 1. So that's nice. I like it when there's a common factor. I mean, who doesn't like it, right? So that's cool. Uh, so we can factor out the 9 minus 9b minus 1. Oh, I, should, I should choose a 2 so I could say 2b, but anyways, 9 works nice here. 9b minus 1 multiplied by each one of these, a plus b plus a squared, a plus b plus a squared equals 0. Now, the cool thing about the first method is we're not making any assumptions, and obviously there are shortcuts. We'll talk about those in the second method, but uh, just brute force method you know, cross multiply everything, do a little bit of substitution to make it a little easier. And even if you didn't do it, you could hopefully factor it like this. It just makes it a little easier. And then from here, getting zero is good because we're going to set each factor equal to zero. For example, 9b minus 1 equals zero gives us b equals 1 ninth. So let's save that for now and look at the second factor, a, b, not a, b, a plus b plus a squared equals zero. Now, notice that a is 2 to the x, b is 3 to the x, and a squared is 4 to the x. And as you know, this can never be 0. So the second factor can never be 0, which means the only solution we get from here. And why can't this be 0? Because 2 to the x, 3 to the x, and 4 to the x are always positive, at least for real values of x. If there are complex solutions, what are they? How do you find them? That's another story. But for real solutions, uh, these uh, cannot be equal to 0. So 1, b equals 1 ninth is the only result we get from here. And what is b? b is 3 to the power x. So 3 to the power x equals 1 ninth is going to give us the solution. 
Now, 1 9th can be written as 1 over 3 squared, and that is 3 to the power negative 2. Using the rules of negative exponents, if you have a to the power negative x, that is 1 over a to the x. All right? Cool, cool. Now, we got a very simple equation, right? And then from here, x becomes negative 2. And that is the only solution because if you look at the other factor, it can never be 0. So this is the only solution. All right? Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And then I'll show you a graph at the end. So a graph should hopefully give you a good idea about what uh, this function looks like. Be because at the, at the beginning it looks complicated somewhat, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite the original problem. And then we'll use the second method. 6 to the x, 9 to the x, 12 to the x, divided by... And I'm pretty sure most people thought about the first method and they're going to be like, wow, this is too easy. Why are you doing easy problems? Okay. All right. So what are we going to do? If you look at the numerator and the denominator very carefully, hopefully you should notice that. And you can also determine this by checking the ratios. So for example, look at the ratio of 6 to the x to 2 to the x. And that is 3 to the x. If you look at this, it is also 3 to the x. If you look at this ratio, it is also 3 to the power x. In other words, you can write the 6 to the x as 3 to the x, 2 to the x, this one as 3 to the x times 3 to the x, and this one as 3 to the x times 4 to the x. Without making any substitution, let's just do this. And let's simplify the left-hand side, and we're going to set it equal to 1 ninth. So now, notice that 3 to the x is a common factor for all of these. So we're going to take that out, and then we get 2 to the x plus 3 to the x plus 4 to the x divided by 2 to the x plus 3 to the x plus 4 to the x, right? And that is equal to 1 ninth. Okay, great. Now, this gigantic thing cancels out, which is obviously not 0, and then we arrive at the same result. 3 to the x equals 3 to the power negative 2, because 1 ninth is 1 over 3 squared, and that is 3 to the power negative 2, as you know from negative exponents rule. And from here, x becomes negative 2, and that happens to be the only solution. Well, this should normally bring us to the end of this video, but I just want to show you quickly what the graph looks like, so hopefully you'll be convinced that this expression simplifies nicely. All right, let's go ahead and take a look, and then we'll finish up. So here's the graph of our function y equals 6 to the x nine, plus 9 to the x plus 12 to the x divided by 2 to the x plus 3 to the x plus 4 to the x. And as you can see, it is actually an exponential function, a simple one, because this is the same thing as 3 to the power x. And at negative 2, it is going to be 1 ninth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.